If you're using or want to use the new view composition API, script setup is now the recommended syntax for it. And that comes with a couple of advantages. There's less boilerplate, better TypeScript support if you use that, and you even get some performance benefits. So let's try it out. In this video, we'll take the video player component I use on Tollpad, which is currently written using the Options API, and convert it to the new script setup syntax using the Composition API. First of all, the template code will remain the same. We don't need to change anything here. Now for the script setup, you can place it anywhere you want, but the convention seems to be to have it at the start of the file. So let's move it. And we also need to add the setup attribute. Moving on to define the component props, we can do const props equals define props. And this will take the props object as argument. Now, my favorite thing about this new script setup syntax is that we no longer need to register the components. So we can delete this. As long as we import the components, they will be available in our template. For the data, I'll just grab the properties and make them reactive using ref. So we'll have const, the name of the value, equals ref, and then pass the initial value as argument. And of course, we need to import the ref function from view. Now we can delete this and move to created, which has been merged to setup. So we can just grab this and paste it here. Replace this dot speed index with speed index dot value. Remove this. And then for mounted, we can use the on mounted hook. Let's grab the first two rows, paste them here. This player will become player dot value. And to access the slots, we can use the use slots helper. And let's make sure we import that from view. Now this current speed is actually a computed value. So let's grab this and go to our reactive values and say const current speed equals, and to create a computed value, we need to use the computed function. And now let's replace this speed options with speed options dot value and this speed index with speed index dot value. And of course here we need to use current speed dot value. Moving on, we have a conditional that checks whether or not we should track progress. Let's grab this, paste it in, and track progress and lesson ID are props. So we'll need to use props dot track progress and props dot lesson ID. This player will become player dot value. Let's remove this. Then for unmounted, we'll need to use the on unmounted hook. And let's grab these, paste them in, replace this dot player with player dot value. Remove this, and we can now move to methods. Let's grab the first one, paste it in, add function. Instead of this speed options, we'll have speed options dot value. Instead of this speed index, we'll have speed index dot value. Instead of player, we'll have player dot value. And instead of current speed, we'll have current speed dot value. Let's grab the next one. This will be a sync function go forward. Instead of this player, we'll have player dot value. And that's it. Let's grab the next one. Instead of this player, we'll have player dot value. And that's it. We can remove this. 
And one thing I noticed is that I have two values that shouldn't be reactive. The first one is the player. The second one is the speed options. And the reason I know this is because I know these values don't really change. The only one that changes is the player. But that's just because I need to wait for the component to mount so I can create a new player instance using the slot element. So let's replace those with regular non-reactive plain JavaScript values. So here we'll just have, instead of const, we'll have let. And here we'll have just a plain array. Now let's replace speed options dot value with just speed options and player dot value will become player. And that cleaned up things a bit. Another thing we can improve are these two access requests. We can replace them with a function call. Let's say update progress. We'll pass event.% as argument. Let's grab the access call and define the function. Update progress. And we'll just return the access call. And let's also make sure we replace event.% with the name of the parameter, which is percent. And now we can inline this. and replace all this with update progress and pass one as parameter. And that was it. We've successfully converted a component written using the options API to the new script setup syntax using the composition API. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.